week. Well, this latest storm could create a dangerous situation. Heavy rain combined with melting snow and ice could lead to flooding. So Local 22 Sam Israel looks at how people should be prepared. Joining us on the weather deck right now with more about that. Sam? Yeah, well, Mike, you know, I had a chance to catch up with a local Red Cross official, and she recommended to me that people carry flashlights with them along with bottles of water. Flash flooding can be deadly. It's one of the leading causes of weather-related deaths across the U.S. Many drivers make the fatal mistake of driving over flooded roadways. If you come across a flooded road, okay, you don't know how deep that water is. So we very much encourage you to turn around. Flash floods also threaten homeowners living along rivers and other bodies of water. You know, monitor the river, take a look at it, what's going on with it, understanding what's happening. Um, you know, it, it, the important thing is just to be situa situationally aware of what's going on. And if water levels start rising, the Red Cross recommends to evacuate as soon as possible. Don't just think, oh, maybe I'll just kind of wait this out and see how bad things can get because um, flooding can happen very, very quickly and things can get bad and unsafe very, very quickly. She recommends to get the higher ground if you can't leave your house safely. Another concern? The safety of dams. Vermont State Auditor found that many dams in the state are in poor condition. You mentioned that we're facing the possibility of some floods. Those are the events that you want to be thinking about if you're working for the state dam safety program. And those dams could be more susceptible when the water starts rising. It's one thing to say the dam is reasonably safe under normal operating conditions. But if you have events during climate change, unfortunately, more than we used to, then that's when the dams really are at risk. They might overtop and so forth. Yeah, now a big, a big concern this year are ice jams. Now ice jams form when temperatures melt and then chunks of ice become free. Now these chunks of ice then flow down rivers. They begin to accumulate and then that causes floods on rivers. Reporting from the weather deck tonight, Sam Israel, Local 22 News.